Assalamu alaikum. Welcome you all to eSafe Science. Today we are going to do a question and answer section. Here the first question. What is called the measure of coldness or warmness? That is temperature. Okay, question number two. Now, the question number two is explain the temperature as the kinetic energy using ice, liquid water and water vapor. Okay. Here, ice cubes. Liquid water. Water vapor. Now, by touching we can say this is cool. This is hot. This is the way we feel the temperature. Okay. Now we have ice, liquid water, water vapor. We can say the temperature of this ice is T1. This is T2. T3. By touching we can give a rough idea like this. We say the temperature in the IC is lower than this water. Temperature of this water is less than this hot vapor. What is the reason for this different measure? We'll examine. In this solid state, the particles inside the solid the kinetic energy of the particles in the ice is very low. So these particles are not moving. But here in this liquid, the particles move relative to each other. So we can say there is a certain amount of kinetic energy in these particles. In this water vapor, the particles are moving very freely. So we can say the kinetic energy are very high. If we mark the kinetic energy using K, we give K1. We know the kinetic energy in the ice is lower than the kinetic energy in water. The kinetic energy in the liquid particles less than the kinetic energy in the vapor. Okay, now observe this very carefully. When the kinetic energy is low, the temperature is low. When the kinetic energy is high, the temperature is high. 
So, the temperature is the measure of mean kinetic energy possessed by the particles. Okay. Okay, let's move to the next question.